Hello, everybody. Hey, I picked up a little something today. It's a uh, jaw clamp for a GoPro. So uh, let's take a quick look at this thing, see what we got. Here's what we have in the box. It's a super duper heavy duty spring type clamp. Now I've seen a couple of these that uh, had plastic jaws in here. This one actually has rubberized jaws. The only thing I could see different on this from the actual GoPro, the GoPro has a little rubberized piece right here on the jaws. And that's the only difference I see in this nice heavy duty lock line. If you're not familiar with the lock line, you can buy this stuff and add length to this or you can pop these apart and take some length out. They do make a special pair of pliers to pop these apart. This has the GoPro mounted in there. That is definitely a heavy duty set of jaws and this little corrugated piece right here. It's kind of nice because they made it to where you can tuck the extra up inside here. You can push this out and what this is for, if you have something with a small diameter, you can still clip it into here just by pulling this piece here. It's got a ratchet mechanism in there. And when you're not using it, you can tuck it back up into this little cubby up here. It's pretty nice. I like this. Let's get a GoPro on this and take a look at it. Clamped onto a few things. One of the things I like about this, you can slide this in from either side. Now the the little squeeze part here if you're not familiar with the GoPro that's uh, the part you insert first so just as an example and you hear click into place so I can have the GoPro mounted to where it's looking toward the front of the clamp or I can have it to where it's looking toward the back of the clamp so if I wanted to clip this onto my monitor stand I can have the GoPro looking back at me it would be looking up which would be Eh, probably less than a flattering angle, but that's what the lock line piece is for. The lock line works exactly the same way. It's got this same piece as on the GoPro mount. So you slide this piece into here, and you slide this piece into here. Now your GoPro is at a whole new angle. You can uh, tilt it over, of course, and then get it, you know, if you wanted to get a little closer to you. It's a super flexible mount and of course you can put the GoPro since it has the accelerometers in there you can actually flip the GoPro over the other way and have it below the mount so it gives you a lot of latitude on how you want to mount this thing so if you wanted to use this as a webcam of course it's right in front of a monitor right now but you could find a better location for it you could uh, mount it on an overhead you could use it for an overhead camera you had a rod running across the top up here somewhere so all things considered it's a very versatile mount but let's go outside and take a look at some other things we can clip it on let's say I wanted to put this on my bird feeder I could put this right here on the bird feeder for a up close and personal view of the birds if I if this uh, lock line is in the way just clip the lock line off, put the GoPro back on the clamp, and then you've got it uh, up here at a, a really nice location. If you wanted to, you could clip it right onto the pole, and the, I don't think the birds would notice that all that much. It kind of blends in with everything. See what we can do with the uh, pickup truck. I've got it clipped onto the rear view mirror. Now, I would absolutely trust this but I don't know that the lock line would give you the stability that you wanted. We can do this. Now that's going to be really, really solid. You could have it uh, facing the front or the rear. You can bring this around. Go from this side if you wanted to clip it on on the go. Bring it around from this side. Of course, you'd have to turn the camera around the other way. And there you've got something going and you could uh, put it on either side of the truck, put a GoPro on both sides of the truck. You can put one if you want to see what your suspension does while you're bouncing down the road. You could uh, mount it underneath. It's got a really, really solid spring on there. I'm absolutely impressed with the strength of that spring. It is amazingly strong. If you want a little 
a view closer to the road. You could put it right there. And that is not coming off the vehicle. I don't know that I would drive down the highway with it because rock damage, if there's any other vehicles on the road, I think rocks would get into that pretty bad. You could clip this into the bed rail. It is not going anywhere. Now, if you wanted this to look to the front, let me show you an option. You could put the lock line back on there. However, I don't think the stability would be good enough with that much leverage on the camera on a rough piece of road. But if you get the little pair of pliers or if you put a little effort into it, you could put just one piece of the lock line on there and have the camera mounted way down here, take the leverage away from it and the springiness away from it. And I think you'd be okay. And this stuff does turn. I don't know if, if you're familiar with the lock line or not, but you can turn this any direction you want. Pretty cool stuff. What do I think about this? I think if you're into GoPros, this is very economical. You might think about picking one up. Other than the name on here, it's pretty much identical to the GoPro mount for a lot less money. I, uh, I'll i tell you what I'll do. I'll try to, I've got to go to Wyoming and I'll try to get some footage with this clipped onto a couple of things in, the, in my next video. Just a little background scene maybe up in Wind River Canyon if it's not snowing up there. I don't know what's going on up there. Check out some of these other videos and I'll either catch you in one of those or I'll catch you down the road somewhere.